Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. Now, this video is about how to stop shopping, but really, I don't actually believe in stopping shopping because one, that's just not practical, and two, that's just cruel and mean to do that to yourself. You know, it's a bit like a diet. If I tell you you've got to go on this really strict diet where you're not allowed any carbs, you're not allowed any sugar, you're not allowed any dairy or meat, you know, the first couple of days will be okay, but you'll end up snapping a week later and going, this is too hard, I can't cope, and you'll end up like gorging on something really delicious and but really naughty, and you'll undo all the great work that you did previously when you first started the diet. So if I tell you to stop shopping, it's a bit like that. But I think you're much more powerful if I just suggest that if, you're, if you are over shopping and you kind of feel a bit guilty like you've been buying a lot of things and you know spending a bit excessively over the recent times that you might just want to slow it down. So this video is not actually about how to stop, it's just about how to slow it down and only really buy what you value. So I'm not going to waste any time, I'm going to go straight to the points of what you need to implement straight away. One, unsubscribe. You know, you're sitting at work, working away, and then up pops, you know, one of your favorite shops saying, you know, if you buy three items, you'll get the fourth one at 50% off. You don't necessarily need to go and participate in that marketing um, exercise. You can simply say no and just unsubscribe. You'll also get a lot more work done because you're not going to be distracted as often. And you'll only go into the shop when you actually need something. Um, not because they're having a special sale on And if you really love something, you'll pay full price for it anyway. You shouldn't be buying things just because they're on sale. Two, be a selective shopper. This is probably the trick that's actually personally really helped me. I've become a really fussy shopper. I only have three or four of my favorite shops that I'll go into, and I don't waste any time going to any of the others. And the way I worked out how to pick my favorite shops was, I went through my wardrobe and did a big cull as part of my minimalism process and I looked at the brands of clothes that were still in my wardrobe and I looked at the brands of clothes that you know had lasted me like you know three or four years and kind of still stayed in fashion and I was able to identify which shops were actually selling me really good quality goods that were you know really reflected my sense of style and I decided okay that's it I've got these shops that I go to and, and I and I'll visit and I'm not going to even walk in the front door of any of the other shops. I'm, they'll, they'll be a complete waste of my time. So I've really controlled where my temptation comes from and actually limited it. Three, be a cash queen. Okay, so if you and I go shopping and um, we see we're going to buy a, a dress for a wedding and you find an amazing dress that you love um, and it's three hundred dollars now normally you just either you know wave your credit card on a pay wave or you might sign a squiggly little bit of paper um, and you know buy the dress and not sort of think anything of it but if we change this around a bit and instead of using your credit card or ATM card even we actually go to the ATM we withdraw the three hundred dollars to pay for the dress and you see three hundred dollar notes in your hand and go back into the shop because that transaction is you'll be a lot more conscious in handing over those that three hundred dollars in notes and actually seeing your savings account drop by three hundred dollars you'll actually in that transaction realize whether you actually really do need that dress and if it's really worth it and if you do go ahead with it and happily hand over the three hundred dollars and buy that dress that's great because that means it's an equal exchange you value the dress it makes you feel you know tall and sexy and you know it's going to work for your occasion and you know that you're going to be able to wear it plenty of other times well then that's fine but if you look at handing over the money and something doesn't feel right and you feel uncomfortable thinking no that took me a long time to save that three hundred dollars well then don't do it you now know that that's not a good transaction for you and you won't actually go ahead and buy that dress four balance before buy okay so before you go shopping always check your account balance before you go out the front door Sometimes when we shop, we think there's a lot more money in our account than what there really is. So if you can check your account before you buy something, you'll know exactly how much money is in your account and you'll know exactly whether you can afford it or not, or if it's worth spending your last couple of hundred dollars on a, a top or a pair of shoes, and you know that you've got to still survive for the rest of the month or until your next pay packet comes through. So definitely a good one that really helps keep spending in check. And the Final fifth point, track your rack. Sounds really odd, but 
actually make a list of all the clothes that you own and I actually keep my list in my iPhone so I can see exactly what I've got in my wardrobe and it'll help you identify if you're buying the same thing over and over again. For example, one of my girlfriends loves buying party dresses and funnily enough she doesn't actually go to that many parties but she's got hundreds of party dresses. You can only wear one party dress at, the t at a time and you only go to a certain amount of parties per year. So keep a list of exactly what you've got and how many you've got and also sometimes what colour because it stops you buying the same thing over and over again. And you can identify what you actually really need. Okay, so that's pretty much my tips on how to slow down your shopping. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any other ideas that you think other people should know about that you use that you find really helpful, let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Sugar Mama. You can also go to our website, www.sugarmama.tv. I'm also on Instagram at YouSugarMama, Twitter. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you next time on Sugar Mama TV. Ciao for now. Bye.